Hello, everybody. So, welcome, one and all. Welcome all. So, we're going more theater of the mind, uh, rather than relying a lot more on maps. So, you can actually turn the map to basically nothing if you want. Hold yeah. on. Uh, we should probably we probably say we have a little bit of an announcement. Oh yeah, that. Zeno. Someone used wish and reset the world. Some random dipshit. Not any of the player characters. Just some Just random some dipshit. Random guy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Starting over from the beginning in a new world. In which case, we're all level one again. Also, but to even things out, I gave everyone a item specific to them. I got kick-ass boots. What height did I say Zin would be? Because I remember Zin, uh, I was like... 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. Yeah. Three three no, yeah. Zin's short. Shortest, hey, yeah. shortest tree of shortest flower in the whole kingdom. She's also super fucking buff, like she are. <laughs> she is buff and short. <laughs> hey, uh, Pete, you might want to turn us up. Oh. Uh, Wait, sorry, does I... this technically make Zen a lolly? No! <laughs> I swear to no. God! No! I mean, yes it does! No. Apparently it is. <laughs> a trap lolly, maybe? No. No, mm. it's obvious that she is older. <laughs> yeah, th that's what a lolly is. She's short just short! Person. Short and stout. God damn it. By the okay, way, her... the, the face won't go real for this one. By the way, she's supposed to be having like buds, but I didn't know how to fucking do that, and I don't have like drawing stuff yet. Okay, you shouldn't good. have given me this power. <laughs> the reason I did it was because I was like, okay, fuck you, she's the I shortest. I want to be the shortest. It's like that one uh, character from Kill la Kill, where he's always the <laughs> tallest, except the reverse. Yeah, and this one, she's always short. It's like, it, even when there's someone who says she's a height that's shorter than her, she appears shorter than her for some reason. Like, uh... That height doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Ant joins the crew. She turns into a grain of sand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, basically. <laughs> Unless yeah. otherwise specified, she's usually shortest in the scene. Mm -hmm. Unless I make a one-foot character. <laughs> Even then, she appears shorter. <laughs> Fucking, it's but what if a second character with the same traits come in? Would they just uh, disintegrate themselves to nothing? Just keep shrinking until they're non-existent anymore? Down to atoms. <sighs> no, even further because they want to be short. They they appear to be shorter than the other. So it's so anyway, weird uh... to not have like a bigger, like a bigger spell thing. Like that's so fucking weird. Spell list or. Yeah, like the as like well, spells I use. Pfft. Come talk to me about that. Got a fucking s giant spell list, but only s two slots to use. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Only have I have three. Hmm. Or... Okay. I think that's uh, good. Yeah. Zeno, you what? Okay. Oh, we might as well. Oh. Mm. The mic cutting out is already happening. Shit. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Please For don't real. Mind. I wrote poetry for this. I'm doing this with the poetry. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, red has typed something. Hold on. I haven't got a link, so no. But yeah, as you can tell, we're more going for uh Should we say why we uh did this actually? Uh we all kind of like agreed amongst each other that hmm, yeah, no. Uh everything got like really fucking weird. So we're all we all just collectively decided like, yeah, no, it's time to like uh reset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what the fuck of course. Uh, I will say guys for the videos on of this, uh, I will call them. Uh, I'll I'll keep the old videos up, but we're gonna also call this new series of videos rebooted. Basically, it's gonna be rebooted. Yeah. <laughs> Except it has a new name. Yeah, it does. But no, that's the thing, man. Like, the cursed crew is the main title of the uh, D and D series on YouTube. True. So, True. Cause, yeah. Um, I'll be well then, I have my poetry. We can begin. Holy shit. Let the chaos begin. Hold on, let me. Holy fuck! Sorry, you're loud in my ears. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> it's not your fault. Hi. Is he? Is he doing it? No, nice. no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure if I'm d if, like here. it's going wrong, or if I just can't hear. Well, hey to you too. Oh man. Hmm. Sorry, getting some water in my throat. This go? this won't sound raspy at all. Was well, like a smoker who's been smoking for seven years. Yeah, <laughs> girl. <laughs> in some mystical music here. <sighs> welcome, welcome, one and all, to a tale of. Of the forgotten king and the quest that he brings to our adventurer six and all. Now, what you may ask, did these six do? Well, listen with a drink, and I'll tell you. Today, I bring you a story about their glory and the struggles that they went through. Cue bard music. <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, man. Okay. I just like you bar music. I mean, that's what I wrote down. Q yes. bar music. <laughs> secretly, secretly play sh uh, Sea Shanty 2. I actually yeah, probably would do that. Again, I have, I, 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 I have tavern music I can put in here, so. Okay, okay now we begin. With four of our six adventurers. Okay, oh, shoot, there's seven adventurers, aren't there? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there are seven. <laughs> there. It was just a moment uh, where I'm like, butter. shit, wait. He keeps forgetting butters, I think. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we begin in a. Well. We begin in a tavern. A oh, sorry, oh. not a tavern. And here's another one of our players. Be Yay! Back. We, 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 sorry, the Verizon gave me no fucking like ahead of time notice. They just shut me the hell off. Oh shit! Ooh, uh, that feels illegal. Be like, literally, Zeno begins like, "Uh, we started a tavern." Right, John said, "Fuck." <laughs> No, you started an adventurer's guild. Oh god, I need to calm down now. Oh, to be hey. specific, an adventurer's guild by the name of the Broken Horn. We meet our characters in order, starting with Noah. Well, as you see, there is a quite tall, white, grey-looking tiger at the back sea, fighting with a 
man who has stolen something from him as he basically grabs his beer and just smacks the smacks his head up. So basically bonk. Yeah, it's basically a bonk. <laughs> he basically just stole his beer and he's getting it back. <laughs> oh, I've been trying to get that rich The two pot. at the front desk ask the adventurers to please kindly stop fighting or they will have to intervene. <laughs> but he stole my beer and I want it back. But he stole my beer. <laughs> it's like a kid. Like two kids fighting and like one of the teachers like, what the fuck? They're like, well he... He stole my toy! <laughs> or at least I want him to pay for my drink. <laughs> now we move over to Loxif. Uh, Loxif is... But for one thing, anyone looking at him, he's, he's sitting at a table in the corner and they can't really see what he looks like. He's covered in, he's covered in rags and uh, he's, his entire body is covered at a point where you, you can't even tell what, what he is. He's standing, there with, with, he's standing with a hood over his head, his face, his face covered with a mask and everything. All you can see are his eyes, and they're, they're, they're blue. They're like cute and blue. He has a drink in hand, and he's just calmly and is calmly t taking sips of it. And Lux is just vibing in the background. <laughs> and to the observant eye, three young women are pointing at him and laughing. Wow. What a bunch of bitches. Uh, well, one isn't really talking at all. She's just there. Uh, you actually have growl a little bit, and you can see his teeth are pointed. What he takes another drink. There, Noah? Now we move over to Rat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rat is just sitting at one of the tables. His helmet is off to the side. He's just drinking some water, keeping to himself, being nice and calm, and you know damn well he's thinking about bombs. <laughs> you know damn well he's thinking about bombs. It's just like in the back of his mind. And sitting next to him is a guy not wearing a shirt or shoes. No service. <laughs> no the bartender <laughs> of the broken horn. Carlock. Oh. Sorry, I just found that funny. I'm just like, no. It's the butt. Nice. It doesn't matter that he doesn't get service. He's the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Aladdin. <clears throat> and the three that are laughing at Loxif. Of course, each of the players would already know their names. We have Violet. Titan. And Cyan. Violet is the one who isn't laughing. Violet is just still. Stay inside. Violet's just vibing in the background. No, she's kind of hiding in her cloak. Mm. Rat has rat energy. <laughs> rat has rat energy. That's the only way you can explain it. Rat energy. And Carlock is trying to talk to you about the dangers of being a mage. R Rat is just being all like, uh-huh, uh-huh, hmm, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> yes, interesting. <laughs> now we move over to Zinsatra. Uh, well, Zin is just, Zin is like very short, like she's almost like, a, like most might have mistaken her for a gnome, if not for the way that she looks. 
Like, she has very gnome-like features. But... Her skin color is more of, like, a bright green. With... Instead of, like, hair, it's mostly... Uh... Like, most of what makes up her clothing and hair is, like, more petals. And there are two rosebuds that are, like, on her head. Kind of in a, like, space bun type of style. And her dress is also made out of, uh, made out of roses. And, like, rose petals. With her dress being more, like, Southern Belle-ish. Um, and she's, like, just taking, like, she set up a betting pool for the battle between the drunken guy and Noah. And then she just kind of sighs like, shit. Like, I've lost out on money. Because those two stopped it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, you bet on me? <laughs> no, like, the, the, you fighting the guy for your beer. As to like who's gonna win? Yeah. So she's like, shit. I gotta return all the money. No. I can't even keep a sli a slim slice of the profits. And we move to unit. As on the elevated uh, platform. Or fabricator. No, guys, shut fuck up. So on the <laughs> second, on the elevated platform, a shrill looking half man, half robot. It's very hard to distinguish. You could say this this old man has more robotic parts on him, or mechanical, than a normal human would ever have. As he has a quill and some parchment in hand, taking notes of certain actions that have been taken, as a few are just piquing his interest for maybe potential benefits. Besides that, you cannot see more than either his face, which is all almost completely out of metal, except for like a small part of it, which is still like a normal humanoid eye. As he also wears a red cloak. Those are just mm -hmm. heels, then. Nice. They're heeled boots! Mm -hmm. So, as you know, anything you say? Zeno, that EXE has stopped working. <laughs> yeah, and then you Sorry, go. I forgot I had push it on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why can't they heal me? <laughs> Basically. Anyways. Coming in from one of the directions. One of the I'm sorry, I'm going to lower the voice of Red's sound because it's now over the top too loud for me. Too many dogs. Many dogs. Anyways, coming in from the main entrance is a shark like humanoid. Big eyes already. With some roll of parchment and a loot. Sorry, I'm back. It's cool. Yeah, he goes up to the main front deck. Yeah. Actually, I should probably tell you exactly what this place looks like. That would be nice. On all sides. 
well, basically, it's a four-walled building with a balcony. A front desk with iron bars separating the people inside from the people outside. The walls are inlaid with golden symbols. And the air reeks of magic. Anyways, this shark-like humanoid walks up to the front desk and puts in the parchment. In the meantime, Noah just basically punches the deal's the last punch and he takes the beer and the pouch that the person was still had stolen from him. But between those two have ended. Cat, <laughs> cat humanoid seems to be victorious. Yeah. Note further for any other usages for later research. Um, hey, Trump, got anything to say? Uh, Luxif will just. Uh, when knows the shock man, when knows the shock man, and uh, will he, he'll give a sort of uh, a sort of familiar glance at the, at the shock man. One thing is the person he's seen, so he kind of he kind of feels uh, relatable to him. You know, the, 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 the glass to him and just continues drinking. Uh, is that still here? Yeah, I'm, I'm here, but I am incredibly lost because of the amount of times I had to get up and walk away. Um, no, I just want to fight to get back his beer. Uh, Zim was taking bets. Um, HR is just kind of vibing in the background, and Double O is also just kind of wa watching this all go down. And you're still talking to that one guy. And a shark person came in and put a parchment to the front desk. Rat sets down his uh, glass of water and looks at the bartender right in the eye. What purity of water is this? <laughs> he, le he leans in and just stares into the bartender's eyes. What purity of water is this? Oh, Rat slowly nods and leans back. Good. <laughs> Good. He takes another sip. <laughs> By the way, I totally knew that Eric I was gonna win the fight. Uh did you how much beer did you drink? None. I've just been drinking water. Ah, okay. No beer. I've just been yeah. drinking water. No beer. I was gonna just like one more. I would have absolutely made the joke of the wild life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, beer still does have an effect. Beer has a good effect. No, no, no. It's not the pink tiefling, but it's close. <laughs> Noah's whispering to her, and this is like, uh, well, I had to return most of the money because the blood belt up front had stopped it. So, she actually did have to return the money that mm -hmm. she might have collected. So it's just like she's just like, damn, I went for all that effort for fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to add, Double O? Um, just having everything noted down, he will just uh, 
he will just go downstairs. Uh, try to approach uh, Noah. He doesn't know his name yet. And be like, I have seen what you can do, and I think I might be able to use you in some great, let's say it nicely, um, jobs. If you're interested. Currently, I cannot pay you in this realm's coin, but I can, if you give me enough time, improve your abilities. Mm. Noah just looks around and turns around and he's like, hmm, well, what kind of uh, items are you talking about and what kind of jobs? Quite interested. Well, first of all, I am in need of some basic materials as well as in some possible blueprints of this realm. In the time that I've been here, I have lost my previous powers, but I've learned about new ones and I adapted quickly. Therefore, if you could help me, I could improvise some stuff for you. Hmm. You seem like a guy that's quick with its hands. Ah, you noticed that. Good. Well. I'm still interested, so or maybe. What is your name? Ah, uh, yes. My name that I've been given long ago has also gained a title. The full pronunciation of my name would be the Fabricator General Zangrias. Hmm. Well, they call me the White Shadow. For now. And with that, Asmodeus stands up and announces to the guild hall. We've got a new quest. I need a maximum of seven level one adventurers. He looks up and basically looks at the group and it's like, mm. well, we do have some. We don't know yet. Um, Luxif. Luxif will uh, uh, look up at this and well, he he'll listen in on it. He'll listen on the on the uh, what, the what the quest is. Rat puts on his helmet and stands up. He's ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought that would be fucking funny. Of just like the idea of you just putting on a helmet. Yeah, but go. Just like. I'm <laughs> ready. Approach like she's like. <laughs> it's not her first time to actually do this type of shit, but it's also like. First time trying out the boots. So she looks a bit wobbly as she walks, but. Actually, technically, this would be your first guild hall that you did. Yeah. I mean, like doing a job, I guess you could say. Yeah, but this is the first quest for my guild hall. Yeah, first official job, so to speak. Mm -hmm. She has been, I guess, technically, like, paid under the table before. Well, whilst uh, Zangrias looks at the group that's physically, uh, physically or visibly, uh, is, uh, tells like, okay, we're in, he mutters to himself, uh, I, I could use these guys to my advantage as well. I have an increased potential of coming out victorious with probably possibly spoils. As the um, also stands forward, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. So, 
we have two approaching the desk. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, you two rat pants then are greeted by Rasmadius. Oh, wait, I thought I was also going in forward, okay. Okay, then you three are greeted by Rasmadius. Rasmadius simply states guild name. What's this guild called again? The guild hall is not the actual guild. The people within the guild hall create guilds. I'm from the Adeptus Mechanicus. Sorry, sir, that's not on our list. Yeah, I know. It's not of this realm yet. I was looking up the below, like, or, uh, Zagreus, and it's just, like, internally, like, is he cold? <laughs> like, is he part of my cold? <laughs> like, that's for me, <laughs> feeling. <laughs> just because I'm like, what the Fuck! Oh. And... <coughs> she doesn't really say anything to, like, Zagreus as she just looks back at... <laughs> as she looks back at Rasmadius and is just like, uh... I... I, I ain't part of a guild. No. Guild no. requires at least five people. Then I would like to... Except in the group of Cerberus. Cerberus is a bit more powerful than the average guild. Can I also enlist a, another person into this? Sure, but they have to be willing. As I turn around and look towards Nova, Mister, <laughs> get. Bless <laughs> you. Oh, sorry. Mister, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. cat guy. Which I forget to remember your name, which will come in later. Would you be so helpful as to join this little party? Well, if it will bring me some things, I might consider as he walks out. It might benefit as a good starting point. Well, if you provide me with work, I'm happy to oblige. I'm sorry, but that's only four people. You need more than four. Oh. Zoon starts looking around to see if, like, any... anyone else even seems vaguely interested. Luxif is listening in, so he is looking your direction. There's gold zone! Hey! Cool guy! Come here! <laughs> cool guy. Luxif will get up and uh, he, he, he'll he walk over. And again, you can't see what he looks like. All you can see is his eyes and his, and his mouth a bit. That's it. Good. You wanna join in on this little party we got up over here? Yeah, sure, why not? Sin <laughs> just nods okay. and looks at Russ Nadia's like, Alright, we got, we got five. <laughs> I'll need you to register a guild name. So, what should we call ourselves? Then kind of just looks around at the other 
others because she's just like, like she has like a few ideas, but at the same time it's like probably like something that would be considered like slightly weird. Unless you want to have a group name that sounds like either a barcode or a QR code, then I suggest not asking me about such things. Zim just, again, looks at Zagreus. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? These creatures from this realm are getting more interested by the time I communicate with them. She I continues. Have not for the state talking plants at this point. 23rd wind has ours. Nelson looks at looks at rat like what the fuck? Well, technically rat's right. not even a rat. Wait. Unless he is a rat. Yeah. yeah, you don't know rat's name. You just look at this guy in full armor. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you just look at this guy in full armor. Like she's she... like, who the fuck are you? No, she's looking at both of you like, what the fuck are you talking about? Out of character, it might be better if we already figured out the name. Yeah, oh, yeah we didn't. Totally. We didn't think about. We didn't think this through. <laughs> again, we're, again, our sister caught the cursed crew. Our characters think they they don't know they don't know the cursed. Yeah. Know. They don't know what. The they don't know what. I can think of a name if you guys can. Sure, go ahead. Uh, Just hit the randomized button. Blood faith. Blood faith. Why would we think of blood when I'm wondering, like... Who would you... Hold yeah, on, I... let me look up... Let me look up, like, uh... Maybe the Wait, the we, could have... we could call ourselves Wait, the Argonauts. What about... what you about could call the yourself Graveyard. Graveyard. I'm bad with more the Argonauts. The Argonauts will fit. Uh, and Red also wants to do a suggestion, but uh... the irregulars is a good one. I like that. I like that one. Yeah. By the way, uh, who did you say someone wanted to suggest? Uh, Red also tried to, to, to suggest something, but uh, he came in a bit too softly. Oh, sorry, Rat. Divine instigators. <laughs> I like the irregulars. I mean, regulars seem like very accurate due to yeah. like the fact that all of us are just. <laughs> <laughs> After all, we're poor, unfortunate souls. <laughs> no way! That's copyrighted! I. I can say that. The unguided? Oi! <laughs> no, one of us is guided. That's the Bazio. Don't make him unguided. <laughs> I'm still. I'm. I'm Boy, with, the prophet. You I'm know, I still want to do the regulars. I like the regulars. Let's go. Let's go with the re regulars. Okay, Have a vote. Sure. Okay. Alright. All in favor of the regulars. Aye. Aye. Alright. Penis. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> so basically, everyone's good for the irregulars. Cool. Yeah. I now see. The name will be Irregulars. Do you have a reading? Oh, do we? Do we have a what? A leader. A leader. Well, we never had a vote or poll pulled in for that yet, so we couldn't be able to vote ourselves. Oh, I was hoping you guys had already voted between yourselves. Oh. Okay, Loxip's gonna look at this lady and like, listen lady, we just met. We don't really have a leader. Also, no, I suggest a contest. A contest? To decide your leader. What kind of um, contest? A sparring contest. What's the rules? You know what, you smiled. Rules is you just have to use the arena. Other than that, there are no rules. 
those of you that have been at the guild for a while know the arena is an area where you can fight to zero hit points without dying, no matter what. And you will regenerate anything you use within the re arena afterwards. Nice. Yeah, sure. I guess, I guess we could do that. Well then, who shall be first between you? Oh. He's cool. No one's standing. He's basically crackling his knuckles. And so. hmm. Who shall I choose? The cat versus who? Zen seems to be thinking about it. <laughs> I am not built nor mechanically ready for a close quarter combat situation. And I just don't even give a shit about it. Well, well, then then it from will Japan. be the figure. So, by default, it will be the Kevin. I mean, I'm down the spar, but. Uh. Be careful, little one. You might get hurt. Mm. You know, that was no way to talk to a lady. <laughs> Zen okay. just looks up at this cat. He's like, Big man, I will climb we'll up you and ride you like a fucking ball. First. <laughs> we'll have the plant to ride just like cat first. <laughs> <laughs> First round will He's be the cat versus the cat. Second round will be the hooded figure versus the. I believe you are a clone trooper, sir. Yeah. Clone trooper. Never the such a Figure title versus the clone trooper. And then the uh, mechanical man. And then it will be a one v one v one with the mechanical man standing in as the third. And with that, we begin a combat. Uh, we should probably put down our tokens. Noah and Zip. My dogs are barking again. The poops are angry. <laughs> They are angry. They did Whoa. not agree to this shit. No. <laughs> uh, no, what oh. white movie character? They move somebody. Well, you yeah. start inside uh, of the arena. Sense. Either side. Oh god. <laughs> <clears throat> when you guys have the movie character to the opposite side. I can't see shit here. I'm so sorry, but it's completely white for me, so I got confused. Yeah, it's also completely white for me because he probably didn't have. But yeah, this. Oh, wait, I need to settle on uh, like. Uh... Getting a nice map of combat, but yeah, this is just basically a improvised. Okay, yeah, a small room. I think it was. Well, I tried to be gentle. Oh God, what did I do to the page? Oh fuck! Let's do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, cute rat in the background. Like, oh God, what did I fucking do? <laughs> like a <pen. laughs> I am panicking. <laughs> Shit, I have a minute. I forgot. Shit. So... Um... Zen is gonna go... Yeah. Oh, I figured... Go about 
20 feet. I, yeah, that's about 20 feet. Yeah, that's 20 feet. Um, Random just, phone notification. I'm sure just gonna ready. At least this, this is how I understand this. I haven't really done like ready actions before. Uh, she's just gonna ready to like swing with her quarter staff. Just so that when he comes in range, you know what I mean? Okay, Noah. Well, he looks at her quite funny and he just basically takes out his sword and is rushing in towards her. Um, ready action means to. Um, I just, uh, go ahead and do the quarter stuff, right? Bonk. Yes. <laughs> 20, let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna assume 20 hits. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to scream. It hits. <laughs> so yeah, she basically just takes out your fucking shin. At least in my brain. Goes for your fucking shin. Also, 15 does not hit. Uh -huh. 16 meets. Which I think means it hits, right? Yeah. Yes. Shit. Minimum damage. What's, what's the not one? So is the it now. So it's just like the net one distracting <laughs> me. That's a 1d2. See, you know. See on the first turn, please. Yeah, uh, that hits. The 1d2 was it for flipping a coin to see if it hits. One, it hits. Two, it doesn't. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I could be an asshole. And like, eh, I don't know. Like, that's a dick move. <laughs> she just goes out with her uh, quarter stuff again. That's the missing. Okay. Uh, she also uses the human word <laughs> on herself. Wait. Wait, I'm clicking it. Why is it good? Why isn't it going? Because you might have to select the level. Three healing. Oh. Hmm. Well, that was a swing and a miss, little one. Zen says nothing, mm -hmm. but mentally she's just like, I'm going to take out your kneecaps. <laughs> Like, mentally speaking, that's what, that's what her brain is right now. It's just, I'm going to take out your knee. 21. Fuck! <laughs> 21. Fuck! Yeah, she's down. Yep. Guys? Well, you fought bravely, little one. Good. As he helps her up. Zin is still very much just in the mental space of I'm going to take out your kneecaps. Everyone <laughs> reads everything they use. What? Everyone in the arena regains everything they used in the arena. Oh, nice. But Good yeah, guys. Zin is now just like in, in her brain. Is still like slightly in the mood in the mode of, like, I'm taking out your kneecaps. Mm. And she just, she takes the help, of course. And you are teleported out of the arena. Whoa. She seems like, 
slightly crummy. Wait, so Zin lost? Yep. Yeah. Zin lost. My advantage. Now we move on to Luxip versus Rat. How do I put my dragon drop, on the dragon dragon drop your dragon drop. your yeah. name from the journal to the fields? Oh. Oh. On your side. What is that All you have to do is now drag your token on the fields to the other side of the corner of the field. There you go. There you go. Well, it, uh, ten, 10 feet back in that corner. Or you could start there if it's agreeable. I can barely see shit over the turn order thing. Can I move it? Oh, thank God. I can move it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let me click on this. Go to the core. Mm -hmm. uh, select your token before you press initiative. There you go. Uh, yeah. Oh. You're going first. Nice. 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 All right, uh, I s spells are allowed, yes? Yes. Okay, I start off with clone armor. <laughs> so a plus two. And that'd be my turn. <laughs> That's the turn. Okay. Um... Machiac is immediately going to, uh, you see, you, you see him, uh, uh, you see him, uh, remove his, uh, remove his gloves. And you actually see his hands all red and his nails are a bit sharp. As he seems to, he casts fireball at you. Damn, no hesitation. Does a 15 hit? No, it does not. Damn it. Uh, it does not hit. Then he is going to quickly move over here. That's the oh. end of his turn. He's doing a button ring. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's now Rat's turn. Yep. Let me just check one quick thing. Oh, that definitely has... Yes. Energy blast. The fact that you're just like yes. So um, it automatically hits, or yep. Ah. Uh, three for two damage. What? Three shots for two damage. Okay, so. Oh no, that's six damage. Oh. Wait, isn't it one it's defense plus one? Oh wait, oh wait, I rolled one on all. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. Okay, uh, you see that Loxus, uh, Loxus, uh, <laughs> what he's wearing? You see he's not the tail of it, as you can see more of his, uh, more of what's underneath. It's more- And it's Loxus. <laughs> he's of course gonna use the same thing back at ya. Actually, yeah, he's, he's gonna cast Magic Missile. Remember in the, like, like, that it's one part song? <laughs> 15. 15. Holy oh, shit! Yeah. Okay. And that is Rat gone. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Rat just eats shit. Rat just wiped him out. Actually, wait. Hold up. I forgot a special side effect. Uh, certain clone shielding that you have. Wait, wait, I did? Uh, no, it didn't activate. Okay. It didn't activate? Yeah. My brain yeah. was like immediately, well, oh no. Well, Rat just got wiped out. Yeah. I should have used Firebolt. <laughs> Lockstep is like covering those parts that were like torn. We both and... Firebolt. Here we do. <laughs> yeah, my brain automatically, like, whenever you did, uh, what's basically magic missile, my brain was like, okay. you know that one bit from like Kirby right back at you where it's like, right back at you? Uh, uh are we back to full health, you know? Yeah. And spell slots is back, and Rat is teleported out, but Loxif is remaining in. 
and I like when Legend just yells, "Good match!" and then he just vanishes, gets Thanos. Yes, Hitter General Zagreus is in, and no one is in, along with Loxon. It's a three on one. Uh, one v one v one. Oh, it's a fatal three way. Yes, fatal three way. Uh, no way, this is triple off. threat. The, the, real, the correct term is fatal four-way. Mexican standoff. <laughs> Let's roll the ship then, I Except guess. Except we robot. Except, yeah, there's now a robot. A tiefling. Okay. And a cat. Okay, roll turn order. Roll initiative. Okay, roll initiative. 14. And there we go. Okay. I'm last. Noah goes first. Well, I'm sorry to harm you. Perhaps. And he throws a dart at the unit. Or at least at the general. Is that yours? Okay. Hits. Okay. It's funny. The Fabricator General, Zagurius, has more help than all of you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. In my brain. And that's the end of his turn. Okay. Then we move over to Fabricator General Zagreus Kane. Got to make sure that's bonus. Is there any bonus or some stuff? But yeah. Um. From underneath his cloak. Uh, one of its robotic hands seemed to be holding a light crossbow. I see that mages can be quite a dangerous stuff here. And he shoots towards Loxif. Oh. That misses. To shake your arm. I lost me lost me a move. It's just Oh, uh, the accuracy on these primitive weapons are abysmal. I like that. He moves here. And with that, it's Locks of Vanyards. Good job, you should have actually named where one of said. Uh, he's gonna cast Firebolt on double zero. Five up. Twenty. Eight. Fuck yeah. Eight. <laughs> that deals eight fire damage. Luckily, I've got absorbed elements. One. Um. Wait. Sorry. Text. Uh. Here. Still one. Ah. Uh, no. It means he takes only half damage. Okay, so it takes four damage. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, that's something. That thing. Exalt the element plus it. Oh, come on. Okay. And he will move. He'll move, uh, he'll move over here. And that'll be okay. the end of his turn. Then it's Nova's turn. Well, you seem quite perfect, so I won't be I won't have to go full out on you. But apparently that a wizard or sorcerer or whatever kind of that is. He's basically a more threat to me. And you walk over towards him. Posh. My brain automatically goes into like 24. like the whole like oh you're that approaching hits. me. 
And I'm down already. Damn. <laughs> By the way, you slash at me, and you basically rip the rest of my as you get a sword slash the rest of my robes off. So now you guys can see what I am. A deep link. <laughs> oh, the disgusting rings. I quickly try to hide. Like, By the way, I'm down to. I, I, that went over my health, by the way, I will say. That was like. I'm now negative one. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna teleport out, you know? Teleport it out. <laughs> you will move the remaining 10 feet towards, towards the general. The motto always was, never go down without a fight. So, uh, Zangrius just moves in towards Noah. Uh, with his quarterstaff from his other arm, he pulls out. He just tries to give it a smack. That's, that's, a, that's a nat 20. 20. Damn. And thanks to Absorb Element, he deals a 1d6 extra bonus damage of the triggered type. Fire! God, I'm already it. down. Jesus! Oh, 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 Damn it! You have no Rad want... is grinning in war crimes. It's <laughs> basically <laughs> <laughs> 25 damage, I believe. Yeah, that, that, that's 24 damage. 23. Yeah, it's 40 more than I have. 16. Oh, 20, 23 damage. Guys, in all honesty, I actually want Noah to be a. I wanted to know it to be a leader. <laughs> well, I guess Zachrius is your leader. Uh, <laughs> Never expected this. I was like, I can either just give up or I just YOLO it. <laughs> and it's fucking. Oh, this was kind of a hell of a jo YOLO. Yeah. Double characters are leader. Holy shit. Fucking worst. It's gonna be insane. Grin. <laughs> Grin. Grinning in my face. I was basically expecting a normal hit, which would probably done almost your max HP for this. <laughs> And she were to all health, etc. that they used. God. Um. Um. Just to note, Zero well. doesn't uh, look like grossed out by the whole like typhoon thing. She's just like, oh, okay. Uh, I will say, uh, Locksmith. Now you guys can see what uh, as uh, rags and stuff. His uh, hood thing is off. You guys can see that he is wearing a, a white shirt with rope sleeves and a blue and a blue vest on him, as well as some black pants and uh, a tail sticking out, a tail sticking out of his pants. It's like... Ew. Dude. <laughs> you know, y you know what I mean. I could make so many, we could probably make so many jokes. Now I'm thinking about it. Exactly. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, legit, he, he has his tail, uh, he, he has a tail and everything, so yeah. Okay. It's just something like, Aww. just where I was born. I'm questioning it. Sif realizes that the three that were laughing at him had exposed tails. I wonder how he finds the time. That all three were flakes. He he gives a look at them. They aren't scared of their heritage. And Zagreus. Is your new leader? He is unsuspected. He is. Uh, he is set as the irregulars' leader. He didn't internally. He's just kind of like, well, shit. <laughs> Which I mean, kind of makes sense already because he's the last in the talking order anyway. True. Yeah. Hmm. Locked I up. do stand open for suggestions. 
That feeling when Rat realizes he's going to be commanded by a droid. Considering the idea of like he may not listen to us guys, like yeah, I may not listen to him a lot. No, a lot, no. <laughs> like Steven has execute order sixty six. <laughs> Like, You're not the chancellor. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I've got the cloak. I've got the cloak. I've got the ring gleam human part face. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally of a poverty. <laughs> My brain. At least this brain is like shit. We're going to be led by a cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so shit, I have to lead a group of non cult members. <laughs> and one, one, one is a tiefling as well. <laughs> Not a conversion yeah, already. <laughs> no, what's even worse is that they're all fleshies. Oh, yeah. Kill all the fleshy mammals. <laughs> I thought it was convert uh, all the fleshy mammals. Well, we still need some other members of the po of our party to accept this quest. Should we start looking for them? You will be assimilated. Zim was I'm like, what? Assimilated? <laughs> no, this was out of character. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be Zim's like, immediate reaction is just like, fuck him. Oh fuck, didn't expect this. I expected no one to actually win. So... Oh no. I, I... You can take the quest, I'll just be sending more adventurers to help you later. Zim just nods like, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, admittedly, she didn't think she'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as I as Angrias turns to the group, again I'm open to suggestions on any take on some the mission. However, keep in mind it must sound logically enough to succeed. Asking the job is a whole other story. <laughs> you gotta take. Uh this shark person with you, apparently, as part of the quest. Accepted. Okay, just to let you know, he's a bard. Zen immediately is like, oh shit. My mother was a bard. Nice to meet you. Walks over with Trash shake the man's hand. Is he a one man this band? Wait, what, what, what? The guy says, I don't do hand touching. Oh god, that's fine. You upperlings always have so much hosts on your hands. I'm sorry, what? I said you landlings always have so much shit on your hands. Now, to be fair, I have been wearing gloves for the past two years, so... Zin just looks at the yes. guy like a little bit of dark, a little bit of dark don't hurt nobody. Rat looks at the shark, at the man, and he's like, "I purify my hands in fire, dude. Fire." I am uh, made of fire. That it also should. scares Zin. <laughs> I, I won't be surprised if she's scared of me and Rat now because of the fire thing you did. I do not even touch the stuff in which I'm working on. I've got other abuses on how to perform my tasks, but those were before I came here. You see the hand go on? Locks puts his hand on the WZO shoulder. Man, this guy's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's pretty sus. The <laughs> <laughs> hand's on shoulder still. <laughs> Zen ain't saying anything because she's just like, I don't know uh, how this guy will react if I say something. So I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Red is sus. Excuse me. <laughs> I did my job. Didn't you see the need to go up? Scorcom. Scorcom. Ah, nice. Okay. 
Elvro 20 has an issue with me. I, it takes a long time for something to load. Mm. Looks nice. Yeah, Blue. it looks okay. <laughs> but yeah, Zin is expecting, like, the bard to, like, get into some dumb shit. Just because no, no, no. bard. No, 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 no. That, no, no, no. That, that, that's up, that's up to the rogue. Yeah, watch for this. Wait, who's a rogue? What? Stork, um, simply says, I need you to take out Zen Naxoremus. I'm sorry, who? Zen Maxoremus. Max. Maxoremus. Zen, Zen just like quirks an eyebrow like. Bahoom. <laughs> He's also known as the Tormented King. Hmm. I need you to kill him before he summons that which is unholy. What is he, what's he summoning? God of Chaos. Uh, That's I, bad, right? Can I roll to see if I know what the fuck's going on? <laughs> sure. Uh, what would are it be? Sure this, are you sure this is like something for first <laughs> levels? What would it be? History. Yes. I don't know what the fuck's going on. You see. The reason I need first levels is, if I went to people who were actually on his level, he would immediately know. So we're cannon fodder? No. You'll be leveling up as you go towards his castle. You could see uh, us as intercontinent- inter- uh, God damn it, what was the ICBM stand for again? Intercontinental. Inter ballistic missiles, yes. Intercon and I forgot to see the word again. Ballistic missiles. Continental. Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's that word just blows right across my face. We are like intercontinental <laughs> magic missiles. Why is the missiles <laughs> Well, you basically fire darts that technically are called magic missiles, so Of course just I have missiles. missiles. Xeno Enterprises yeah, made the intercontinental <laughs> ballistic missile long ago. Those are characters, yeah. <laughs> uh, interesting. So at least the technology is not that far behind. Though his teleporters are what most people use. I just came up with this new idea on an iPhone. I think it's called that. Zin's just looking at everybody I, I, like, I what like the you fuck to... are you talking about? I'd like you to try on this uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Sponsor. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, you will be leveling up as you continue towards your ultimate goal of killing him. Hey, Coco! Sorry, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about to this bar? To this uh, quest giver? I go. By the way, He's a uh, I just think I just read the thing Noah put in ch ch in general, and yeah, it was exactly like a group description. Yeah. Oh. Yep, a group of misfits against the gators. What is your what is the group? Investigate so. Sorry, I'm like God. talking to my dog, and he's like freaking out. What is your dysfunction, Coco? <laughs> Sorry, you guys, for the name, but yeah. It, 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 this is a great group name. But yeah, Zen yeah, doesn't know what's going on. We'll find a way to. Ch we're we'll changing to the cursed crew in the, later in the game. At some point. Yeah, Probably maybe. Probably once we all start complaining about the fact that we're fucking cursed. Oh, yeah, totally. But right now, we're not, so. Yeah. But now we are just a bunch of misfits. Anyway. So, are you gonna lead the way, or...? Oh no, it is up for you to decide where we go. You give us a job and you don't even guide us, alright. 
Uh-oh. Well, you can I don't know where the tormented king is. Well, let's first try to get out of this building. In my it will be an impossible task. Don't you know the doors here are very, very weird looking? We have to, we, 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 we have to, try to figure out a way to get out of this place. Uh, so, something that's round, uh, that's a rectangular shape and tall. I can move in and out, probably. Like a door! How do you just give up the front up. door? <laughs> or, 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 or we could just burn down this place and we've got all open space around us. Rat is just, just laughing. Zim's looking at everybody, just like, like, like she's wondering if there, someone was in their fucking drinks at this point. Sorry, we just, sorry, we just smarted with my uh, robe on. Should we search to look for some transportation, perhaps? In, in, in the in, in the tavern, I don't think they need you. Um. Oh, you mean out of the tavern? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just face bombs. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, Lox is not really that dumb. He, he's, he's just, he's just joking around. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a joke. So. But yeah, really the more that they like, like the more stupid shit that they say, the more that Zin is just like wondering if someone <laughs> drugged their drinks. Zin is about very to high intelligence. Brain cell at level one. You just hear the three, the three other tieflings laughing quietly, just like because they did drug, they they did drug our drinks. It's like, <laughs> oh shut. No, do you hear the two of the tieflings laughing? One laughing at your stupidity, one laughing at the fact that you are stupid. Meanwhile, Ras just drinking his Wookie Kush, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a real drink in the Star Wars universe. Uh, what? That's awesome. That's awesome. Here, we need to know how to do this. <laughs> I guess I didn't hide. It's Wookie Kush. Damn it. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> it's mine. I wonder what this is. Oh we get coach. Hey, is that thing there? No, I'm not in here. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, then it's just also, like I should mention the uh, shark before you looks to be no older than 15. How would we be able to identify an age of a shark? We need to roll. We need to start. I mean. <laughs> Technically, your uh, rat technically already knows. Who says I know? We don't have a rat in our party. You know, rat, because of your HUD. <laughs> you scanned him. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically. I'm a fucking rat. I'm a rat bastard, that's what I am. <laughs> that actually does get sick. Anyways, the front door is right behind him. So let's go. <laughs> Which is why it's impossible for me to go through the door, because I can't see. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll get that. Zim is more no one's like... mad. Zim is more just thinking like, oh god. I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you hear nobody complaining about having a walking plant with them. No, not yet. And to be fair, uh, to be fair, to be fair, everyone's an idiot. Well, she didn't say yeah. that out loud. She's just like singing to herself, like, oh. Yeah, and I'm saying this our character. Mm. <clears throat> Just wait until Zen sees that rat is just fucking fire here, fire there, fire here, fire mm. there. And as Ampice is like a stone trooper, he misses every shot. <laughs> Zen, Zen is just like he's a clone trooper, not a stormtrooper. So we've got they got better aim. Up on that. 
they mm. have Autobots, yes. They, they paid to get Autobots. Alright. Well, so Bruce, should we look for as as a as transport as way as to as transport as ourselves? We'll be fine. Then just nod. Like she's already just like, oh shit. Here we go. She's in that type of mode. You know, we could just walk. You know, walking is good for the legs. Yes, it is. I spent, I, I spent nearly a year walking. It's nice. I spent all five years of my life walking. It's pretty cool. just looks between the both of them and is just like, I, I don't care. Those like, are already broken numbers. her. Lux, uh, Luxfin and, and Rat have become good friends. No, no one, no one even questions the fact that Royal Rap just said all five years. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it makes sense, uh, like, wait, oh, I'm sorry, did you say five? Yep, he said five. Zen's you know. already broke, so she's just like, yep. <laughs> five years old. <laughs> yep. You guys are gonna pre periodically just break Zen. You know, with me being a half demon, I really, I really, I really don't, I really don't see, I, I really don't see anything bad with that. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, Luxif and Rat actually be friends. <laughs> I think we're friends. Like, yes. They have the same vibe. Yeah, don't be ashamed of who you are. Half demons are cool, e except when they try to kill you. Then they're not cool. Well, thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Unlike that cat hey. man, who, and the cat man who called call me a freak. Uh, yeah, rat. Hmm? Rat. A no, no. A girl with purple hair goes and tugs on your kilt. The fact that you're wearing a fucking kilt ends me. Yeah. Because Jeez. fashion is a thing. The kilt, obviously. Hopefully that kilt isn't too high for, for it to see under it. Oh, yeah. No, I hope you it's at least in... It? No. Oh no, the stormtroopers have armor everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's literally there for Even aesthetic. Stormtroopers. <laughs> basically no. the only reason that clone troopers have killed. Oh you try you try god. you try the gun to you know oh all you see god. is armor. Oh my god. <laughs> Where you just crawl in and be like, let me see that ass. You just see <laughs> It's called a comma. Oh. <laughs> it's called a comma. K A M A. Oh my god. Uh Oh, Rat, you saying, man? Oh, uh, it was out of character, but what I said was, you crawl under and you're like, let me see that ass, clone boy. And all you see is plates. <laughs> oh my plates god. Plates stuck. I got anyway, One second. a woman with a tail and a cloak about... Three foot nine tugs on your comma. I uh, look down to see who gave me the tuggy wuggy. <laughs> I, I hate it. Stop. All you see is a hat. Uh, and a hand. Nice hat. I kind of want it. <laughs> I kinda it's want a wizard's it. hat. Yep. You know, stereotypical witch hat. Oh shit, we forgot to turn on order. We totally did. Yeah. We did. Let's, let's uh, repost it just so that, like... You guys yeah. don't forget. Yeah. Let's pin it. Yeah, pin might be a good idea. Here's a... Here's a back. Um... Okay, uh, no. Technically, it's still red. Oh. Oh, uh. Rat reaches down and hokes the hat. Just the hat falls off. And a girl with violet hair, a tail, and two dog ears. 
with glasses on, is just looking up at you. Hey. <laughs> 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 I don't even know why I'm laughing. Fuck. And now we go over to Brian. No, sorry, Noah. Um, apparently, without, I guess, some people noticing, he is basically, at least Noah is basically headed towards a stable and is negotiating with the salesman about purchasing a horse with a cart. The answer to your question is 20 platinum. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> uh, not yet. Well, it's apparently we should still be walking then. Um, I believe it's safe, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Luxif is just Luxif is a uh, he he's he, he's looking at the he, he's mainly just keeping an eye on Noah because of what he's because of what Noah's character because what Noah said to Luxif in the ring. He talked shit. He no he he basically called no basically called he he basically just called a uh, uh, Luxif a a a the bad race. Of a freak, which I hate, yeah. and that's it. Now we move to Rat. The little girl, or what you can assume to be a little girl, t tries to tug you to your where the point where your ear is at her height level. <laughs> Uh, still having the helmet on, pretty much just, you know, rolls his eyes. She can't see it anyway, so he does it just, to, just for the sake of doing it. And bends a knee, drops down with one foot on the ground, the other knee on the ground, and he's all like, yeah, what? what is it? She whispers something in your ear. Hey, Zin, can you do a flashbang? <laughs> uh, I don't understand. Is this an inside joke? Yes, it is an inside joke. Yeah. Sorry. Shit. I need to. I was taking a drink after I did that. And you... Hold on. I need a fucking towel. <laughs> I was. Shit. What the fuck is so funny about a fucking flashbang? <laughs> That's not what she said, but I'll send it to you. <sighs> the cursed crew. Rat, so me, rat, let me huh? explain. Let me explain. So please do. I have this talent of you know the ara ara, and uh, for some reason. It freaks out butter so much that he just fucking leaves the call. Whenever, whenever I do it. He so just we've leaves. called this a flashbang. Mm -hmm. And it's also the, the way of the Hydra is basically like a, a running inside joke. joke of the previous crew. Yeah, Zin, Zin gets harassed by Hydras a lot in the previous world. Mm -hmm. It's basically mating season. It's one of the uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's one of the funny gags. Just keep your hands closed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that what she said? What? Yes. Is what you gave me in roll twenty? Yes. Is that what? What? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rat just gives a simple nod like. Okay, I don't understand that, but all right. 
<laughs> I don't get it, but okay. Both in character and out of character, actually. I don't know what that means. Oh, no. I'm not explaining it. Oh, moving on. Z Zeno? Yeah, I, I, one sec. Um. Uh, should I just go ahead and talk? No. Nope. Oh, okay. One sec. Meanwhile, Noah just sends me a whole, a whole YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, dude, that's all YouTube channel. Why is Sam so funny? It's a new video. Everyone, a new video just came out. It's the new Undertale video. If you, if you want to stream and go watch it, it's it's actually it's hilarious in my opinion. Just because it's just uh yeah. But yeah, in the meantime, Noah returns to the group without without a horse and a cart. We are basically ripping us off. Twenty platinum pieces for a horse and cart. We are ridiculous. Um. There. Turn turn order. It would be Seer now. Yeah. Um, Zin is now just, uh, like, in her brain, she's self-appointed herself to just watch Zagreus just because she's like, okay, this guy's a cult person. Um, let's keep an eye on that. And so she's not really, like, there's story beats probably happening, but she's not really doing much as she's just, like, making sure Zagreus doesn't, like, do some fuck shit. You're making me sound like I'm true evil, as I'm going to be the big bad evil guy. Oh no, she- yeah, like, her brain is more just like, I don't want you to, like, recruit someone into your cult. I'm not a mythic Don, before you know that. I mean, I know that. But Zen doesn't. Okay, okay. Oh, little so, kid, uh, sorry, little kids were outside. And we're like making like clock, 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 clock. Okay. There you go, Zeno. Uh, yeah. Uh, double uh, that's what I thought you'd do. I, okay, then. Mm -hmm. What's, uh, with everybody, uh, either trying to find other people suspicious and such, um, Zangrius, on the other hand, is taking out uh, his piece of parchment and his quill and starts scribbling down some stuff. As uh, he also just further walks, almost as if he toggled auto walk. <laughs> You'll you'll do be you'll be doing this a lot, Brat. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll be doing that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm prepared. Um Noah. He's to he's just basically following uh Fabricator. Okay. Also noting okay. things down. Um, it's sure. Loxif will, uh, thing, uh, Loxif is going to, uh, he, he, he's not really going to do much. He, he, he's mainly going to, uh, try to, okay, uh, Loxif, Loxif actually is going to go to the restroom and try to adjust his, uh, his clothing a bit. No. He's wearing, he's wearing the uh, rope for so long that his clothing is a bit uh, uncomfortable on him right now, so he's going to try to adjust it. Make sure it fits a bit better on him. That's it. That's what he's going to do. Dog. Roll, 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 roll. One second. 
Bark, 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 bark. Bark, 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 Uh, it's a rat's turn? <laughs> yeah, it's rat's turn. Uh, rat follows along with the group. <laughs> what? Bless you. And he sneezes. <laughs> yeah, rat follows along with the group, uh, disregarding what the little one said. Just disregarding it. Just <laughs> People here are crazy. <laughs> He's decided to, to just be like, no. <laughs> He's just going with the motion of the lotion. Or is it ocean? What the what? The what? Is either motion of the lotion or motion of the ocean? Uh, oh, it's like uh, if the brass knuckle fits, punch someone with it. Wait, what? Now we're all confused. If the brass knuckle fits, punch someone with it. Yeah. Now we are all confused. I like this guy. Wait, who? Me personally or the rat? You personally. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought that was established. He gets it. Um, I believe it's uh, my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, go in the Um, so she figures, like, okay, everyone's, like, preoccupied. Zin's actually going to look into, like, the the letter that she got from, uh, from her, from who trained her. Uh, just because it's, like, okay, this is weird. Okay. Since, you know... Dohani is actually dead. So she's just like, okay. Trying to figure out, like, why'd she get, like, this random letter when she hasn't been in contact with Dohani for years. <laughs> Plus, you know. Okay. And I'm guessing DM gets to decide this? Uh, yes. Inside, the contents of the letter state that your master is dead. And that he was killed by the tormented king. Um, the the letter is uh uh has a question that you're you've not been able to an to answer. Um, I can send the sage background. We probably should have talked about this your beforehand. question that you need to answer is, will you avenge him? Zinn, uh, just folds the, the letter. She decides to keep it on her. Just so that, you know. And she makes, like, the mental note to just, uh, visit her uh, Dohani was, like, very much like family door, so she's just kind of, like, keeping that mental note and such. I guess you could say. The entirety of the question is will you give in to hate and avenge him? Or will you stay on the straight and narrow path? Will you join the dark side or stay on the path of the light side? <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Is then just okay. folds it up. Then. As you exit, 
You realize something. You forgot the parchment with the quest details. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh no. Peace. Um, double off. Sorry. You're gone. I've got a feeling I might have forgotten a detail. Say, um, Noah, right? Uh, did we have anything with us? Or did we forget to pick up somebody else as well? I don't know what you mean, but... I believe wait, we do have everything. Oh, wait, yeah, return order, forgot, sorry. You're gone. Yeah, do I'm we... not sure what I forgot. I'm too busy in my own studies. Do we have to the scroll with the quest? I never touched that thing. So it's still laying in the... Killed Halden. Well, uh, maybe we can we can send one person back or just go all together in a group. If we suspect one another for doing something irregular. So yeah. Well, well, guys, we might have to get the parchment back with the quest description on it. Zoom says nothing is anybody exists. willing? Is anybody willing to go? Uh, Loxa is coming out of the bathroom and he sees the uh s scroll. Oh, and oh, and and they left me. Of course they did. <sighs> he grabs a score and he starts and starts going after them. Um. Fuck, we forgot lots of. We always forget someone. We don't know that yet. Shh. Hey guys, where are you? Guys. Um. Do we know? You all hear something? <laughs> Was like, yeah, they already left. <laughs> Do we roll? That's a nap. That's perception. You know. Uh, I can't see the perception roll. You didn't roll no. yet. Do we need okay, to roll? roll? Yep. Okay. Well, I was the kind that forgot, so. <laughs> the fact that we all fucking collectively forgot is way funnier than it should be. Yeah. You're very irregular. Oh, wait, we're all rolling perception. <laughs> 19. Rat is a rat. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Rat's the one that sees Lincoln first. Locks it. That's it, Lincoln. Locks it first. Sorry. Yeah. Lincoln. Rat uh just yells out, but he says, uh, "Hey, we're over here. Keep up." There goes Oa. My brain. I left behind the scroll. Locks of us on the score in his hand, by the way. You can already take it to the bathroom or something? Or... <laughs> what? No. Like a newspaper. No. I got the bathroom. I just, I just saw it lying on the counter. That does get Zen to laugh a bit about just the fact that, you know. Everyone could absolutely make jokes about how Lox 
Took to the fucking bathroom. Mm. Um. Okay, who's fuck? Whose turn is it? It's yours, then. It's Rath, I believe. I believe. I just know it was someone's. Probably Rath. Mm -hmm. Or HR. Uh, I passed the fourth H. Well, what is in the scroll description? Uh, Lux, if we hand the uh, scroll to Double And uh, I accept it. Perfect. In the scroll is the directions now to did, your quest. Did we walk into the totally opposite way? It's to the east. You guys were heading east. Okay. Okay, so you were lucky to go in the right direction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounds like we were lucky. <laughs> um, but but we are the irregulars. We should, we probably were thinking we probably had to go west or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so giving a quick read over to the uh, scroll description. Um, I will notify the rest. Uh, well. According to these details described here, we were already going into the right direction. Let's continue on. Shall we? <laughs> sure. It's a nod. I guess so. About time. Toggle all to walk back on again. <laughs> Wait, the um, quick question out of character. Uh, can Rat play Fortunate Sons through his armor? What? <laughs> Music inside the armor? Maybe. Maybe outside. Uh, you can only do it inside. It's high tech earphones. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you just... <laughs> Anyways, the other part of the scroll simply states that to the east there lives an old man who can tell you where the castle of the forgotten king is due to the fact that it's constantly moving this one man is the only person who knows where it is so you must seek out Okay. So reset the, the turn order for talking? Yep. I'm guessing you guys have already started walking along your way. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Then it's time for some rolls. Oh boy. Okay. Woohoo. Okay, a thirteen. <laughs> a 
Damn it. Okay, you got the lowest possible number. Congrats. <laughs> Is that good or bad? In this hey, case, it's know. good. Oh, nice. Okay, DM. Oh, I still need to roll a D100. Never mind. <laughs> we still well, give us a 50% chance. <laughs> and that 50% chance is a success. Uh, nothing bad happened. No, something happened. Oh, fuck. Is it bad, though? <laughs> it's decently bad. Uh. It's not good. All right, boy, it's time to roll out them initiative cards. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Roll initiative. Son of a bitch. Hold on, Zeno. What do we counter first of all? Um. Uh, West uh, said it's nothing good. I don't like those odds. I don't like them. Mm. Fuck. Wow. What happened in the forest? You encounter two. There is no two unknown tokens. We we encounter two. Is that a crab or a spider? It's giants. Follow oh, that. Oh, that's not so bad. You encounter two giant spiders. Not bad. Not bad at all. At least a locksmith isn't last. That's good. Uh, yes! One of them got a 22. Why do I suspect that Shit. I'm gonna be like the first person to get some spiders? Sorry! 22.16. I still don't understand the, the 22. I still don't the point thing. That's it's, a, it's a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Um, it's if you have a if you have the same number, and yeah. you basically you have to add the instead of, instead of, instead of like more. getting uh, a d20 plus dexterity modifier for initiative, um, you add the dexterity score as a colo or comma number behind that. Okay, I get it. And the giant spider goes first. In this case, yeah. Boy. And attack Sim. <laughs> it's like we said. The animal wants that. Wait, isn't the shock guy with us? Okay. You know. What? Yeah, but he doesn't come into pop play in combat because he has no combat capabilities. There's one. So is York. Oh no, sorry, that was an accident. So, so anyways, fabricator gentle. Okay, so seeing Except that he... a possible a companion of mine might be in trouble, I'm going to. Cast create bonfire underneath the spider. Okay. That's big bird. Mm -hmm. DC sixteen oh, deck save. Yeah. DC sixteen. Uh, sorry. By the way, don't mention the three. It's still because yeah. I have the absorb element on. They did not, so they take five fire damage. Yep, five fire damage. And for... it will stay there. Yep, so every time on its turn, if it doesn't succeed a deck save or move before then, it'll be prone to getting fired again. Rocks it. Casting fireball, baby. Of course. I mean, it's basically it's Now one! Uh, you? You're just... <laughs> what? What was you know? It backfires in an explosion for three damage. I forgot to bear gloves off. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not good. 
<laughs> Forgot to put gloves off, so I used them. Sorry. Shit. Speeder's turn. <laughs> Who immediately goes for the unprotected bard. They got a nice and one. Twenty. Oh on God. the unprotected bard. The bard's gonna be York again. York. Not York. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, York. Oh my God. He's not fighting, and he's gonna get attacked. Oh, I got a healing spell. Ten plus two, and he must make a DC eleven con save. God damn it. He he made the con save. Okay. But he's down. God damn it. Boy. What? Okay. Noah. Seeing that he, that uh, one of the party members goes down, he immediately takes out his sword and just runs towards him. And you're flanking it. Nice. Fritz. Crit, 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 crit. Can do this, Noah. It's crit. a crit. It's a crit. 16 damage. It's still alive. Uh, and turns crit. to you. Crit, crit, crit. Yes, crit. Both of that. Two not 20s. Holy shit. Nice. And he does 10 damage. Let's see how this you, how do you want to do this? <laughs> I'll just basically claw his eyes out. Okay, it's dead. It's like a pissed off cat. <laughs> rat. The rat oh, Whoa. All right. Hang on. I gotta move some shit around. There we go. All right, I move up and I cast. Flame gloves on that motherfucker. Seventeen hit. Nice. Oh, wait, that's seventeen fire damage. Oh, Muppet. even better. Yeah, it's just how did walk get in my room? Yeah, it's a cone attack, so he does not need to do unless there's a safe yeah. touch to it. Yep. You, you, you. It's still alive. There's a wasp in my room. Shit. Oh no. The Zen. Just grab a beat. Uh, just grab the monster manual or like the BHB and just smack that wasp. Well, no, this was easy. Zen, if you can hear me, get the raid! Smite the name I'm going of the God to, Emperor. I'm gonna hope that it leaves. Don't hope that it leaves, it never leaves! It's a wasp, it'll attack you for no reason, it's just for fun. Bees will attack you if you attack it. Wasp, nah, they're just. they're just gonna be fun. Oh. Alright, sometimes if a bee is having a bad day, it'll attack. Oh god, it's moving. It's flying around, it's trying to leave. Why the spiders? Why the spiders? Uh... Grab a book and smash it in. Because the longer you do nothing, the longer we have to wait for it to leave. You know. You know why? Why the spiders? Uh, thing change. What do you mean? The initiative, the spider. Oh, no, I just got rid of the other one. Oh. Yeah, the, yeah, okay, that was because that, that one's 18 instead of 23. Yeah. 22.16. Yeah. And you fucking kill the spider with your poison. Ah. You kill a spider with a poison. Oh. Oh. oh god. You never ah. thought hear of a person killing a spider with poison. Okay, okay. I'm I'm going to really quick. Uh ah. Deal with it, Sin. We we can. You guys go on. Um, Zeno has control. Ah. Just, just, mute, 
Just mute, mute your mic before you're going to smack the shit out of the microphone of it. In front of you are two spider corpses. I loot it. I loot one of them. Thing in their pockets <laughs> because they don't have pockets. No, I mean like I'll, I'll take the, I'll, ta I'll take the, I'll take the fangs. Like uh, the, the I'll take the venom if they have any. Do you have poison in your kids? Venom. Do you know? Yeah, I know. Uh. I said, I'll take, I'll take, I'll try to take the venom. Okay. Roll survival. Fourteen. What container are you putting it in? Uh, let's see. I have a, comp I have a, uh, I have a bunch of things. Really. Uh, I have my expl I have my uh, component pouch, which I'm pretty sure has a bunch. Of I'm pretty sure has a, a glass vial and inside it. Yep. Like I can easily take one of those. You just... get one glass vial of okay. poison. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay. Um, I will fill my water skin with one of those spiders. Just tap, uh, just just dry the whole venom glands empty. I don't know where it went. Um. By the way, by any chance, would a uh, would my alchemist supplies have uh, any storage containers as well in there? Yes, two. Great. Let me just reopen the tabs on the tools, which for some reason all just went like YOLO. I'm going to off. I just have poison. P O I S O N. Thank you. Anyways, giant spider poison. Oh, Giant man. spider poison is 2d8 poison. Okay. Where's that? Your dad's your Anyways, you said you were going to try to collect some too, Hunter? Great Hunter? Yes. Okay. Roll your poisoner's kit. I have an alchemy kit, you know. Poisoner's kit would be more like it. Wouldn't you? Well, I don't have a poisoner's kit yet. Technically, you do. Yeah, oh well, I have to then add in every proficiency. One moment then, sir. So oh, I, I thought you already had proficiency with the poisoner's kit. No, I have alchemy oh. kit's proficiency. Then alchemy would be the next best. Oh god, now in the roll 20 has to reload my page because I had to close it so I could add in the stuff. But yeah, one moment. Um, Alchemist supplies. You can take that 26 if you want. Oh, well, sure. If You get two bottles of the poison. Hmm. To be fair, they in the file poison gland. And a poison gland as well. Oh shit. Oh I will need to do studies to see if I can have it reproduce anymore. Okay. So it was next to talk. It would be Noah. 
Well, that would kind of surprise me, but it went down quite easy. Uh, do we have to look out after our bard? Because he, were, he was the one who was gone down. Yes, well. yeah, you'd have to look after the bard. And then in the meantime, I will uh, cut up the spiders for meat. Tasty, tasty spooder leg. Mm -hmm. I believe that's just vile, I guess. Is he now? Yeah. What do I have no, to I roll? To get him up, medicine. Not to me, okay. I mean to uh, cut up the spiders for a minute. Surviving. Bark. Bark, bark. Still a 16, but for some reason I have the advantage still toggled on. So. How do I think of it? In the meantime, is there... Do we have healers in the party? They might be able to look after our bards. Well, hmm. I'm capable of performing medical... incisions, if not replenish one's health. Well, we do have a downed party member, so it might be helpful. Okay, then. As uh, Zengrius walks over. Oh, this poor fool he even looks more fragile than once was I was a human. And I will cast Cure Wounds on the Bard to heal him. Okay. You basically bring him up to full. Nice. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> and thus, <coughs> their spiders have no legs. One does not have a poison anymore, and one has been drained of all its poison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering, could we um, gather the, um, I don't know if it, if it will be pronounced correctly, um, the chitin of uh, the spiders? Cheating. Cheating, spiders, chitin. Spiders don't really have that much chitin. Mm -hmm. It's just their claws, but you already have the legs, so the claws are on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, you're just wondering. Do I need to um, do anything or not? Welcome back, by the way. Yeah, was taken care of. I got Dad to kill it. Nice. We are currently dissecting spiders. Oh. Okay. For a uh, loop. I wish I had a dad to kill my wasps for me. I wish I had a dad. Ditto. Well, damn, this got depressing. <laughs> <laughs> my my throat is fucked up right now. Yikes. Anyways, anyone else want to do anything else to these spider corpses? Um, I'm gonna smack one of the corpses with my uh, with my staff. I'm just gonna bonk mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I'm just gonna bonk, bonk it. Okay. You bonk yeah, it. Bonk it. One hand bonk it. 
Damn. Roll for damage. I deal nine damage to a corpse. <laughs> you smash its skull. Yes. Zin just this looked pleases around. the rat. Zin just looked at rat like, what the fuck? I saw it move. Have we ever tried to actually cut open the abdomen and see what we can use from that? Survival. Oh boy. Something I will have to learn. Wow, this was an instant reaction. Survival. Oh, don't worry. Oh yeah, I also got my own guidance. I could also use it. Shit. Now Oops. Mm. <laughs> a double guidance, okay. Uh, double guidance? Double guidance is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't it's now get a 16. A, uh, we can't get a double. We can't get a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other guidance people? Anybody? I didn't think so. Nope. You open up the spider's ab abdomen, and inside is flesh. Lots of flesh. Hmm. More consumption for the fleshlings. Zin just looks at you like, nope, nope, nope. It ain't me. <laughs> You're not a fleshling. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also that she's just not going to fucking eat that. You don't need to eat. I know, but if she did, she would refuse. Uh, Lux, if we'll go like, I already have my, I already have food. So, yeah. Oh, well. I need to at least supply my, uh, workers. <laughs> well, technically, I only hired one, but the rest of the party just came along, I say search for destroying this person so yeah um, sure i i'll take out whatever i can take out of this okay you get two pounds of flesh and a coil of silk string nice a coil of silk string. Well, that will be useful. <laughs> and the shark immediately go just jumps on one of the corpses and starts biting it. Ripping and tearing into it. And Rip and tear. Until it is mm, yeah. done. Uh, oh, I'm just going to uh, watch him do it without giving a fuck. Hey, buddy, you need some guidance. <laughs> Zen looks disturbed. Rat's just sipping his water again. His helmet is off and he has a fucking pompadour. He has his helmet off? He Quick, a take a photo. Mm -hmm. It's just a clone of a pompadour. It's not special. He's he's the man that he's the Mandalorian. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> just then it's just looking at this dude. Wait, no, wait, wait. Rats the Mandalorian and Zen's the Baby Yoda. What? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But that would yes, make but... Zin able to eat everything. <laughs> Rem Which... Remember little Froggy? Yes. I, I don't uh, know what no, else no. you can eat. <laughs> she can't eat. Now I'm wondering who our characters are in the Mandalore uni in Mandalorian universe. Someone has to be the muscular chick that got kicked off the show. Noah. Noah. Who? Spoiler alert. What? Who got kicked off the show? And why? Big muscle woman. Oh, is it the lady who has 
who uh actually had like the accurate boob armor? Yes. Yeah, the uh What happened? What's her the the ex Imperial Shock Trooper. Oh, that lady. What happened? Yeah. Oh, she said some bad things before like before she before she became before she got a Mandalorian. And then people found it and she got kicked off. What'd she say? Doesn't matter. Let's get back on track. Nope. Yep, back on track. No, yep. doesn't matter. Focus. I'm Googling Anyways. The guy ripping through the spider corpse is just eating as he goes. Zen watches in horror. Like, she's like, what the fuck? Well, food is food. Just and he says, like, oh, man, land land monsters taste so good. <laughs> okay. So from this harvested meat, you know, can I create a bonfire? Oh, wait, campfire bonfire. What was it again? Because I keep messing up with these. It's two. Uh, can I create a, yeah, can I create a bonfire and start cooking the flesh into possibly rations? Yes. Great. Though I still have to do like cooking stuff. Also, it. it is night time now. Great. So the campfire. Uh, the bonfire actually provides light to those who cannot see. Who will yes. take second one first and second watch? Uh, um, Zin says nothing if you just. Uh, I can down. take full watch if you want. Uh, Zin well, I can see. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I can also be a, be able to uh, have a watch time because I don't need that money and that much of a sleep. So. Well, whilst I keep myself up, I could carefully study on how to cook this meat into seemingly possibly edible food. That depends. So you know what? Let's see. Can I cheese rolls when you're getting with doing this? Uh... No, can wait. Where's the cut? Damn it. Mm -hmm. Sick deception. Oh god, what? Where's my cable now? Here it is. You hear silence. Oppressive silence. A good sign, you hope. Um, Oppressive depends. silence. Depends, do we. Oh, wait. Damn it. Oh, should I have to roll perception as well, or am I too busy? Should I? Since Zen is uh, semi conscious? Sure. <laughs> nice. That. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Huzzah. Okay, Zen. Ah, shit. You hear a pack of wolves howling at the moon. It slowly goes away from the camp. And double O, do you want to roll perception? Um, well, sure, if I'm not too busy with cooking. Okay. Then here you have my perception. Okay.
You smell something cooking. <laughs> Is Pig, it the stuff to be exact? Eat? What? 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 Uh, so spider meats can smell like pork. Interesting. You I see a campfire a few yards away. Should we go mm. check it out, guys? Sus. Sus. It's probably just other people doing some weird shit. Should I check it out? Fellow cult members? Sure. We're not cult. No, the other campfire. <laughs> Well, the best thing we can do right now uh, probably is get some rest and what and what have and have and do a watch system. Try try try, try, keep, an, try keep an eye on those guys. I'm keeping an eye on them. Even when I'm asleep, I'll still be somewhat conscious. Are you oh. sure about that? I could basically sneak around. And for the rest of you sleepers. If you want, I can wake up at some oh, wow. and, stay with, and stay there, would you? Well, for Shit. those... Wow. 92. <laughs> for those sleeping, you have a group dream. Oh. About acquiring an artifact. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. For those sleeping. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What, does it have it or no? Yeah. Okay. Wait, didn't you say use for semi-conscious though? Yeah. Um, I'll just do this. She's semi-conscious because she's rooted, uh, rooted into all the trees around her, etc. Trees, grass, etc. Basically, the trees give in, in a Creating dream. A trees in an neural images. network. Yeah, she's based on cordyceps. Like, oh hey, shit, can... yeah, that's actually a really good analogy. Yeah, cordyceps. Yeah. She's a mushroom. I hear... That's all I hear is purge in flames. <laughs> no, yeah, no, what do you, what you see and what Gavin, or rather HR sees. Don't call me by that other name, Sorry. man. What HR sees is an item. Specifically, a small spherical item that, when thrown, explodes. <gasps> mine. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, come on, man. That's he awesome. Mine, 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 mine. No. <laughs> We're sharing that. Nothing happens during the long rest. He calls him dibs. Double O? <laughs> yes. You get uh, three... Monster rations. Great. So flesh turns into three monster rations. Ooh, nice. Uh, and when say? everyone wakes up, a small spherical object is in the middle of your campsite. By the way, what Loxy does really grabs it? Rat tries to grab it. As the Loxy grabs it. So, oh my nope. Fucking God. for both of you. You oh got my it. fucking god. 13! 14! No! I can basically yeah, try it again. Hmm. I can also try it, maybe. I'm so tempted yeah, you to have can try you try it. Oh, come on. Aww. No! Ah. Fuck. Aha! <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Just for the, for the funds. No! Come on, man! <laughs> Ah, oh, Loxy would have had the hat. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows what it is as well. Children. Oh, I, I don't need to try. Okay. okay. All right. I don't want to leave it. This devil picks it up. Oh, oh, shit. Don't tell me it explodes in my hand. You begin to weep tears of blood uncontrollably. What the fuck? Shit. Okay. Walks in me and goes, whoa, whoa, glad I didn't grab it. You want us back? <laughs> no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Unless it's not made for you. 
Then it's just vibing in the background, like she's already uprooted and she's just like, well, shit. Wait, uh, oh. Mikado, what if it's not made for you? Your hit point maximum is reduced to 12. Shit! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, and hi. every hour that you have the curse, your hit point maximum reduces by one. Shit. Well, wait, Zeno, what'd you say? Every, every thing he had the curse? Every he hour had? he has the curse. Every hour. His hit uh. point maximum reduces by one. Uh... Ooh, let me look and see if I have. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Locks is gonna say, okay, number zero, throw it! Uh, yeet! Yeah, yeet! Roll strength. Strength? Oh god. Strength to throw it. Is the throw it. Yeah, his hand. No. 17. You throw it. Uh, you still are leaving blood uncontrollably. But it blows up an area of five. Of fifteen feet. Yeah, Loxy will also say, "Get down!" The ground. Oh god. Let's see. Do I have the spell? Okay. okay. Secretly, okay. Sinus casting okay. bestow curse on me again. <laughs> you good. It is uh, it's under R. Remove curse, probably. It might be removed cars, you're right. Uh, um... That was weird. Yep, remove curse, R. <laughs> Third level. Fuck. Curious Abduction. Locks of what? Third paladin, warlock, and wizard only. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, big H. I have none of that. I wonder what it was. And or errors. Okay, so I have to reload my page. Oh no! Uh, the curse was the blood. Oh, oh wait, man. hold up. I went. I wonder what the uh, sphere was. The sphere? Yeah. It's still there. It, it it's the exact thing that you guys dreamt of. A sphere that explodes <clears throat> every time you throw it. I want to investigate it. Okay. Oh, wait. wait, did the sphere cause the curse, or was that just like the Mazira thing? The sphere caused the curse. Yeah, I'm gonna investigate, see if see see if there's any way to actually like hold or anything like that. It's like okay. Uh, Eleven. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna do that too, and we both have. It would be this. Arcana. Arcana. Fuck. Not investigation. Oh well, Arcana then, if you want. Arcana. Thirteen. Twenty-one. I'm giving you. 24. I got twenty-one. Twenty-four. Guidance. Okay. Hold on. The curse. The item is attuned to Great Hunter. Anyone can throw it and explode it. The item will return to Great Hunter's hand. What? Anytime he throws it. So he recalls it. And he got cur and he's cursed by it now. Uh huh. The curse Will ends it if it's unattuned to him. <laughs> it cannot be unattuned unless remove curse is okay. used. Okay. Okay. So we so we won't get cursed if we touch this thing now. No. Okay. So locks to grabbed it. Okay. Here, take it. Okay. So, uh, fabricator, I got some bad. I got some good news and some bad news. Good news. The curse, the good goodness, this thing won't curse anyone that touches it anymore. Bad news, it's attuned to you. And the only way to get that curse off of you is if someone casts a move curse on you. Which, also, uh, the, I can't do. Also, the orb will, also the orb will return to your hand when you throw it. Like this, watch. It throws it again. <laughs> like, it explodes another area. And I guess it turns to do double zero's hand. It's like, Only if he recalls it. He hasn't recalled it. You gotta recall it. But, um, return? 
the sphere appears in your hand. What kind of black sorcery is this? It's magic with technology. This thing happens nowadays. Hey, Brett, do you want to use identify on this explodey ball? Hmm. You know, that would be a uh, beautiful, beautiful idea. My fucking spell. Ah! <laughs> Identify on HUD. I uh, walk over to the ball and I uh, pull pull down the visor thing that is attached to the helmet's forehead. Pull it down and take a look at it. Scan okay. this thing. Scan. It is called the Infinite Thermal Detonator. Mm -hmm. Does he tell us this? Rut pulls up the uh, visor and he inhales deeply. You can now never run out of thermal grenades. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. Mm. If I were to augment my arm to rotate 360 degrees at a high velocity and time the release perfectly to an exact point, would that mean I have a grenade launcher? Yes. Uh, to be specific, a thermal detonator is a small thermonuclear fusion reaction. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's a mini nuke. Uh, that's awesome. Don't go throwing that thing around. And it's also sticky. And that's why... Double zero has is losing hit points. He's he's getting he has a radiation curse. He's fucking radiated. Ah, uh, that makes sense. It no, makes it's sense. not radiation. It was a it's, tiny devil. It seems like it, it but it matched radiation. Like it, it kind of makes yeah. sense. Like you can just call him a, radi a radiation devil. Like yep. Yeah. I'm a bastard. <laughs> one last encounter happens and uh, all of shit. this only happened because i had to pick something up which the group was fighting over just to say like no fighting kids <laughs> that is true okay, wait, no. basically no no uh, yeah a succubus appears before you and offers a great time with no strings attached <laughs> Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Yes or no? Uh, no, thank you. Good job, my man. The succubus is like, okay, then and walks over to each of the players in turn and asks the same thing. Liddy, no. I, I don't even like my own race as it is. Sorry. Pratt? Rat takes off his helmet and he's all like, Do you like pompadours? <laughs> Rat, <Yes>. no. <laughs> Dude, it's not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> she will literally <laughs> devour you. Sid <laughs> tries to grab Rat by the ear. Again, Lux is like, She will literally devour you. It's not worth it. Sid tries to grab Rat by the ear. You know what? I will allow it just for the comedic bit. That's like, hey, 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 hey! Easy on the ear. That's what I hear with. Stop your well, shit. At the same time, but <laughs> he's looking at it, the away. call me thing. At the same no, time, he's just, no. <laughs> I guess at the same time he's looking at the same doing the call me thing. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> this has like one hand on his ear, one hand's like face palm. Throws a piece of parchment. The succubus then says the same to Zen. Hmm. <laughs> Rest just throws a piece of parchment with his uh, calling stone number. Zen doesn't <laughs> actually. Zen doesn't actually know what that is. So Zen just looks very confused. Like, Hello, number five 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 two seven nine. Rocco. Like she has no idea. It's, what, a, it's what in the sky's high part. Means so she's just like. 
she just looks very confused. I, I don't even know what that is. To the succubus? Yeah. Like, she doesn't even... I'll say this much. Do it's I... a yes or no question. Like, she, she's just like, I don't even know what that is. Like, what she means. But, uh... Locks and whispers in her ear what it is, like... Then is now more confused. Uh, she lets go a rat. Um, rat pounce at her. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my. Rat pounce. Um, <laughs> shit, that caught me off track. <laughs> <laughs> and and she's just like, uh, I, I don't even think I have parts. Uh. No, thank you. The succubus says, what does having parts have to do with anything? <laughs> Zin just shrugs like she has no idea what in the fuck's going on. Loxif is just looking at, looking at so weird. It's like, what the... Zagreus? generally know that other species might be attracted to interspecies um, downtime cons uh, activities. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Is that a yes or no? Is that a yes, yes or no? No. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just noting this down. <laughs> Mental note. Okay. She then goes to the bard. Ah. Bound. He says yes. Bound. He says yes. I, she did, he didn't even shake my hand. The he shake my then hand. gleefully pulls out a chess board and asks the bard if they want to be black or white pieces. Fucking hell. Zen is not as hurt. It continues to just be confused. She did ask for a good time. Playing chess is a good time. Depends on the person. I don't even know what that is. Like, Aww. Zin is very... It's a game. Again, she prefers people's needs whenever they want, even if it, a game. Oh, no, no. The succubus has no, no need for getting laid. Didn't even want to get laid the entire time. Just again. wanted to play chess. Yeah. And again, uh, and again, Lockship still wouldn't have said yes because, again, his entire thing is like he's, yeah, it's like eh, I'm good. He does. He's gonna move. Sucky as well. Yeah. But yeah, Zin, Zin has no idea what the fuck chess is. It's a game that involves those pieces right there. The one you can watch. It's actually pretty smart. Boring though. Hey boy. The two start playing chess at a speed that should be unmanageable. Zen sits so down decides to smart. watch. Like she's gonna ask you. And it ends in a draw. <laughs> like I said, both very smart. And then the succubus leaves after a while. Bye. Zin just kind of looks at the bard and just like, it seems interesting. <laughs> Confusing, but interesting. Hmm. Uh. So, should we, shall we go on? Yes. Probably should. This item should be removed from my saw attachments, since I did not approve of its existence into my own existence. Well, it's tuned to you now, buddy. Either way, you two are connected. Even if you try to get rid of it, it's still connected to you. I mainly wanted to get it because I knew it. I didn't have blood. 
Or at least not traditional blood. Well, technically I shouldn't also have blood, but... I just rolled with it. Well, then you'd be bleeding oil out of your eyes. My eyeballs got just some extra... Uh, lube at the... Um, Maintenance. Oh, yeah, let's continue on. Water. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. So they continue to go into the direction of the old man, right? Yes. Double O? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not going to. Well, no, if you were I'm... planning something. Sorry. No, I'm actually inter interested in moving on forward. I have made some rations, which I can give to Noah. Or to anyone else who likes to eat m uh, monster rations. I tried worse. I can't eat. So oh, I just okay. throw one piece of monster rations to uh, rats, Noah, and HR. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Rat starts eating it. Hmm. He's hungry. Noah does it well. Loxif keeps his. Uh, uh, Loxif puts it with his other rations. Yeah, might as well. I try to do the same as preparing jerky. Though didn't have a place to dry it correctly, so it's like just nice, tender, cooked meat. Mm. Hey guys, I, I gotta get going. Okay. Then that's where we'll leave it for today. Hey, you guys. this is Gavin from The Cursed Crew, and I just want to say thank you for watching our videos. If you want to see us be cursed live, then come watch us on Twitch. There we stream the Cursed Crew every Saturday, one shots every now and then, and even just play a random game while interacting with the chat. Now if you want to do more and, to, and support us, then go to our Patreon. There you can gain access to our Patreon discount, get updates early on, and even more benefits. Both links are in the description below. Check them out and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys have a great day.